know, first, I'd like to extend uh, my deepest condolences to the family of the young man who lost his life uh, late last night after falling from the Orlando freefall attraction. You know, we can't imagine uh, the pain and anguish uh, that his family must be going through. So our victim advocates uh, have been in contact with the family and helping them through this um, difficult ordeal. So the young man's name is Tyree Sampson. That's T-Y-R-E-E -E, Sampson, S-A-M-S-O-N and he was 14 years old. He was visiting uh, from his home in Missouri with another family here in Central Florida. So the Orange County Sheriff's Office role in this incident is to determine whether or not this is an accident. And based on all of our preliminary investigation and information, it appears to be a, a terrible tragedy, but our investigation is still open. Um, all other aspects of the investigation, as far as the ride itself and the safety of the ride, uh, that's investigated by the Florida Department of Agriculture and Consumer Affairs. Uh, so again, uh, our, our, our prayers and our thoughts are, are with the family, and um, you know we can't imagine what they're going through. So uh, our, our investigation is still open, um, but I can take a few questions and, and just know that this did happen late last night, so we don't have all of the information just yet. Sheriff Nurse Babcock with News of Six. We want to know, are you able to elaborate any bit at all about what specifically happened in this situation? I know you mentioned that SF is the one that's going to be investigating the safety of the ride, but you know, this had to have some kind of uh, catalyst here. Are you, are you able to share? Just that it does appear to be a, just a tragic situation. Um, so all that's being looked at, again, our, um, our role in this situation is to determine whether or not uh, this is an accident or intentional act, and this does appear just to be a, a terrible tragedy. Sheriff, have you seen the video that's been online? At the beginning of that video, it looks like someone who works for the ride had some confusion with the people on the ride whether or not they were wearing their seat belts. Yeah, so uh, we have looked at that video and actually um, have had that video flagged. Um, because something that awful shouldn't be out there in the public. But, uh, you know, it's something that, you know, the Department of Agriculture will certainly um, look at. And, you know, obviously we'll look at that as, as we make a determination um, if this was accidental or not. Correct. Everything seemed to be uh, okay and normal, and obviously we've talked to um, all the witnesses um, available and, and all the employees there, and again, that's part of the, the open investigation. What goes into the Orange County Sheriff's Office part of the investigation that, that makes you believe that this is accident? Well, just based on the preliminary information, the investigation, videos, uh, witness statements um, from everyone involved. That's correct. Um, you know, Tyree was here with a, uh, a family, a friend's family from the, the state of Missouri. So, you know, again, we can't imagine um, what they're going through as, as a father with, with boys who, who go on rides and who frequent uh, amusement parks a lot. You know, it's just a tragic situation. Does the ride have seatbelts? What's that? I'm not aware of a seatbelt. I know there is a, a large uh, locking device that's put over each of the passengers. Correct. Uh, right. Some type of uh, large device that's, that's put over the shoulders, right? Sheriff, do you know if there's been any reports of any issues with this ride since it opened in December? So we have not had any reports of any issues um, with the ride. Uh, but again, you know, those, those are all responsibility of the, the Florida Department of Agriculture. So, you know, um, that's, that's all part of the investigation. Again, it p appears to be just a terrible tragedy. And so we'll see, you know, moving forward, um, you know, what that, what that results in. One more time. Yeah. 
Yeah, so again, our, our role uh, here is to determine whether or not the death um, that we're investigating was an accident or not. Um, and so that's what we're in the middle of. Yeah, so the investigation is open, and obviously as um, there are, you know, witnesses and videos that come forward, we're going to be looking at all that, but, you know, as of right now, there are absolutely no uh, criminal charges, and um, again, it appears just to be a, a terrible tragedy. It, it appears that way. I can't say for sure who was uh, next to him at this point. So, you know, we're looking into all those things, whether it was a slip, you know, whether he was conscious or not, and that, that's all part of, of the investigation, and, and we'll determine um, for sure if it was accidental, which, you know, we believe at this point. And I'm not aware of paramedics being, I know, I know the, uh, the fire department was called. I think. Oh yeah, you'll have to get with Icon Park about that. So. And he was eligible to ride dispatch, right? He met all the requirements in order to do so. I'm not sure. You'd have to ask Icon Park about that. 